Morgan, the Libertarian Party finally has its nominee, um, Chase Oliver. And we almost didn't have a nominee. We almost did not have any nominee at all. And I want to talk about this because I did watch bits and pieces of the Libertarian Party's like convention live stream on their YouTube channel last night. And okay, so I, I was very concerned <laughs> um, because I, I watched the part where they were like the like round six was tallied. Um, and that took forever, that took forever, but, like, um, the, the party had finally gotten to round six, and there were, like, two nominees left on, left at that point, and neither of them had made it over 50%, and apparently you have to have, like, 50% or greater votes to get the nomination for the, um, Libertarian Party presidential candidate, and so, um, when they were down to two, the person with the least amount of votes got eliminated. And so they were down to only one candidate and Noda. Noda meaning none of the above. <laughs> and um, here's the thing. If Noda had won, there wouldn't have been a candidate. I'm going to um, I'm going to show you the clip from Angela McArdle. I'm saying that on stage. Everyone needs to be quiet. Chase Oliver has 49.53% of the vote. Michael Rechtenwald has 44.73% of the vote and he is going to be eliminated. We are going to another round of balloting. It is Chase Oliver v. Noda. If Noda wins, that is it. We will not have a candidate. That's what we're doing. We're going to balloting. Huge acknowledgement and thanks to C-SPAN for covering the Libertarian Party's National Convention. I ended up having to pull the clip of Angela McArdle from their coverage because the Libertarian Party's like official YouTube live stream ended up cutting off after about 12 hours. Um, so yeah, when I found that out, I started to like kind of get very, very, very worried um, because it's like, if this if this one guy um, who was left didn't win, then there wouldn't be a candidate, and so that was like very worrying, um, especially because it's like there were concerns about how that would affect ballot access in certain states for the Libertarian Party, and so I was very concerned because it's like if we don't have a candidate, then that could cause major issues for <laughs> like just I'd say just in general too because it's like if we don't have anyone for the presidency then what does that say about our party that could cause like um that could cause like issues with like perception and branding and stuff where it's like if we're seen as so not put together that we don't even have a candidate then like what does that say <laughs> like what does that say about us and our chances of winning and our chances of like making meaningful change um but I also understand that it's like the Libertarian Party and we're full of, like, we have a lot of anarcho-capitalists in the party. Um, that's my impression of it, at least. And so there definitely are going to be people who are going to be like, hey, all government, etc. is clearly bad, so therefore let's not even run someone. And who would think of that as, like, some beautiful, like, ideological statement. And so I respect that there are people who would who would probably be pro nota pro no candidate versus having a candidate at all and like i respect that but i also i'm like i don't think that's necessarily the direction that i personally would want to see the party move so like we have we have a candidate we have a candidate who is wonderful at forcing runoffs but i don't necessarily have the best opinion of that candidate because if he can only win the nomination after seven rounds of voting, like, um, he might have, he might not necessarily have the support of all of the Libertarian Party, and it's like, if you struggle to gain the support of the Libertarian Party, it's like, how are you gonna do when it comes to, like, people in the general election? <laughs> like, I just, I think that this year's, like, I'm just like, I don't necessarily think that 2024 speaks well or bodes well for the Libertarian Party. If it took us seven rounds of voting to get our presidential nominee. So yeah, I just, I wanted to talk about that and share my thoughts on that because like, I'm registered as a Libertarian voter and it's like, um, if 
my opinion of our parties that were kind of a disaster. It's like, that doesn't really speak well for, for what the rest of the country says, probably. I'm just, I'm very worried. I'm very worried about the direction that our party's going. So yeah, I just, I wanted to talk about that and give my honest, like, unadulterated off the chain thoughts on this while it's still fresh in my mind. And it's totally okay if people have other opinions. That's, that's politics for you, and I respect that. <laughs> Have a great day. Works cited. Campaign 2024. Libertarian Party nominates presidential candidate, C-SPAN, National Cable Satellite Corporation, 26th May 2024, www.cspan.org, forward slash video, forward slash 535-700-1, forward slash libertarian dash party dash nominates dash presidential dash candidate, accessed 27th May 2024.